this is exciting. This is the D-Link Boxy box. Okay, so it's in the shape of a box. It is another media streamer, but this one is actually pretty unique. So let's go over the overall outside of the box of the Boxy box, and then we'll open it up and talk a little bit more about some of the cool features. So, okay, let's start with the front. Online movie shows and videos for your TV. Okay, pretty straightforward. Next, we have the uh, inside contents, which we'll actually show you, so there's no real uh, need for that. Here we go. So the Boxy box gives you on-demand TV, hundreds of TV shows available for free from your favorite networks, ready to watch anytime, huge movie library from the web and watch new releases in stunning HD from premium movie services. Now, Netflix is rumored to be available for the Boxy box uh, within the year or sometime next year. I think it's within the year. Next, you can play your stuff too. So you can access videos, songs, or pictures from your computer or home network. So if you have a home server or just a home computer, you can just throw up a file share, play all of your files on your TV. You can see what your friends are watching through Facebook and Twitter and share your favorites and give your wallet a break with tons of free entertainment from the internet with no monthly fee. So that's all pretty cool, right? Let's go ahead and open this up and find out what is inside the package for the Boxy. First things first, we have the unit itself, which is kind of unique looking. So why don't we, we'll take this out, but then we're going to show all the accessories before we really get too far into it. There we are. So it sticks out of your table kind of like that. It looks like a cube embedded in the table. Inside of the packaging is all black cardboard here and I'm just sort of taking this out so there's that's what was housing the boxy box itself and then next we have a power adapter all right you'll need that next we have an HDMI cable pretty standard HDMI cable looks to be six feet long okay so that's to hook it up to your TV next we have a GPL code statement hmm. Includes software code developed by third parties, including software code subject to the general public license. Okay, remember the Boxy does use open source software and there are going to be many third party apps. In fact, there are already many open source apps available for the Boxy, which will allow you to access content that is not necessarily officially supported. So uh, you didn't hear it from me, but you heard it somewhere. So step one is there's your easy setup guide. Comes in a couple of different languages. And finally, a little bit more documentation. And then the remote. Ooh, the remote's actually pretty nice. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, let's have a look at the remote for a second here. Look at that. So we've got a full keyboard on the remote, including uh, access to lots of different special characters and whatnot. We've got arrow keys, space. This looks like a menu key of some sort. And then on the other side, it's very, very nice. We've got a play button as well as a menu button. And then I can't tell whether this is going to be just a button or a touchpad. Wow. I'm actually like flying blind here. I'm going to have to do some, uh, some definite follow-up videos on this guy to show you guys all of the cool features and uh, to show it to you in action. But just give me a moment and I will be back. So now let's have a look at the unit itself. As you can see, it's quite small. Now this is actually Intel Atom based. So there's quite a bit of processing power going on inside the Boxy. Now you can kind of see the Boxy logo there and then it says uh, buy D-Link right under it. I'm sure once it's turned on, and like I said, I will be doing some more content about this particular media player uh, coming up shortly. Here's our power switch here on the top. Well, it's hard to tell what's sort of the top and what's the sides because it sits on the table like that. So it's kind of challenging. But on this side, we're going to find our SD slash MMC slot. And then this is clearly the back because that is where all of our connectivity is. So there's our power input as well as our analog audio out. We do have support for optical audio out as well as audio over the HDMI cable. Then we have two USB ports as well as a LAN port. So on the bottom you have kind of a rubberized uh, grippy bottom so that it's not going to move around once you've placed it on next to your 
TV or whatever else you want. I mean, you can use a monitor if you feel like it. It doesn't actually matter. But I want to talk a little bit more about the software features. So if you go into the repository, that's where you can actually access the apps and you can either install apps individually depending on your preferences or there are some app bundles that you can download and I'll be giving more details on this in my follow-up videos and uh, that's what's going to give you access to a lot of the really cool content on the Boxy. Another thing that the Boxy does really well is it sorts your media. You can get all of your album art downloaded and uh, the way it organizes it is pretty unique so we'll be doing a video on that as well. Mostly this is an unboxing and a stay tuned message for all the coverage that we're going to do about this cool little media player. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips so you can see all of the other info coming up.